Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to optimize your Windows services and possibly get you some better performance. So it's called Easy Service Optimizer. So nothing to install, it's just a download. Uh, you extract the zip file and you run the executable. So you're going to need admin permissions to run it. So then it will show you your services here. So the green is running, red is not running. Then it shows if it's manual or automatic or disabled. All right, so down here at the bottom, we have several modes. So we have the default mode, then there's a safe mode. So as you can see, when you click on each one of these, the state of the service will change. So depending on which one you choose, there's going to be more action taken on your services. So this is definitely one of those use at your own risk type of apps because it's going to be making some adjustments here, you know, all the way up to extreme. See how it disables more of the services there. So this program, they say it will only edit services that are able to be edited, you know, change their type here. Then at the top here, we have apply the settings. So whichever option you're on down here, that will apply it. Then you could restore it. Start a service, stop a service, add a new service, remove a service. So when you click on delete service, it's not going to delete the service. It's just going to delete it from this list here. So you can't take action on it. And then you could refresh and open the actual Windows services if you want to go to the actual app there. And then at the top here, you could save as or open a file here. If you want to make a backup, create a registry file. Then we have the same options here. And then some options here just for how the program looks. Okay, so let's say we're going to go for the tweaked option here. So right now we're on default. You can see a bunch of them are getting disabled. All we need to do is click on this and you can see it goes through the list there, changes them all. And that's all there is to it. And then you just see how your computer runs and take it from there. And then if you want to come back here, you can go back to the default here and apply it again. And now you're back to where you started. And then some other options here. If you go to service, there's a services list uh, from NT10 back to NT5.1 if you want to load those. And then you can just reset the service list here as well. All right, so once again, just be careful when using something like this. Maybe start with the safe and work your way up to extreme if you want to go that far. And just remember, you could come back and set it to default uh, if things aren't working for you. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Easy Services Optimizer and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.